Hi everyone, this is Dhruv Bhutani from PhoneArena.com and this is a video comparison of the LG Optimus G Pro and the Sony Xperia Z. The LG Optimus G Pro is LG's first full HD smartphone and it comes with a 5.5 inch display making it more phablet than phone. We also have Sony's first full HD smartphone with us, that is the Xperia Z. The powerful quad-core Snapdragon 600 processors power both the phones although the Optimus G Pro has the newer generation processor. Let's check out how the phones fare against each other. In terms of design and build quality, the LG Optimus G Pro has a solid glass front and a back supported by a solid and heavy metal rim at the center. The Sony Xperia Z 2 has a glass front and back but has a solid rectangular build and sharp edges. The Optimus G Pro is taller, wider and thicker than the Xperia Z because of the bigger 5.5 inch display. It also weighs considerably more than the Xperia Z. On the front of the phones, we have the display, above which we have the earpiece and the front cameras along with ambient and proximity sensors on the right side of the G Pro, while the front camera is on the left side of the earpiece on the Xperia Z. The earpiece on both the phones is along the top edge. On the Optimus G Pro, below the display, we have a physical home button surrounded by an LED light with capacitive touch keys on either side. But on the Xperia Z, there are no navigation buttons and everything is restricted to on-screen keys. The microphone on the Xperia Z is along the bottom edge. The positioning of keys is different with only the power lock key on the right side on the G Pro, while the Xperia Z has the covered micro SIM card slot, the power lock key and the volume rocker along with the speaker near the bottom. The bottom of the Optimus G Pro has the micro USB port and the microphone, while the Xperia Z is bereft of any buttons. On the left side, we have the volume rocker and the customizable Q-slide key on the G Pro, while we have the covered micro USB and the micro SD card slot on the Xperia Z. The top of the G Pro has the 3.5mm audio jack, IR blaster and the secondary microphone, while the Xperia Z has just the covered 3.5mm audio jack. Moving over to the back, we find the glossy back on both the phones with the 13MP camera along with the LED flash. The Xperia Z's glossy back is more prone to fingerprints than the Optimus G Pro. The secondary microphone is right next to the camera on the Xperia Z. The Optimus G Pro has a removable battery cover and beneath the cover, we find a hot swappable micro SD card slot and a micro SIM card slot. Overall, the Optimus G Pro and the Xperia Z have a very premium finish and a solid build quality. But the Optimus G Pro feels slightly slippery, while the Xperia Z feels quite solid because of the rectangular build. Moving over to the display, both the phones have Full HD displays, but the G Pro has a bigger 5.5 inch True HD IPS Plus display with a pixel density of 401 ppi, while the Xperia Z has a 5 inch Mobile Bravia Engine 2 display with a pixel density of 441 ppi. Both displays are sharp, but the display on the Xperia Z has very poor viewing angles and a poor contrast ratio. Everything appears unnaturally white on the Xperia Z, but the G Pro had excellent colors. The viewing angles were quite impressive as well. Overall, the G Pro has a much better display than the Xperia Z. The LG Optimus G Pro is powered by a 1.7 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 600 chipset. It has 2 GB of RAM and an Adreno 320 GPU. While the Xperia Z is powered by a 1.5 GHz quad-core Snapdragon S4 Pro and it has 2 GB of RAM and an Adreno 320 GPU. The Optimus G Pro has 16 and 32 GB variants while the Xperia Z has 16 GB of internal storage. Out of the 16 GB storage, the Optimus G Pro has 10.11 GB available while the Xperia Z has 11.7 GB. Both the phones have a micro SD card slot for expansion. Out of the 2 GB of RAM on the phones, the Optimus G Pro has around 1781 MB of usable RAM while the Xperia Z has 1837 MB usable. The G Pro has 1.2 GB of RAM free when the device is idle while the Xperia Z has 1.3 GB of free RAM. The faster processor gives the LG Optimus G Pro a big upper hand in terms of performance. Both the phones are super fast and you would hardly notice the difference in day-to-day -day activities. Let's check out the Quadrant and Antutu scores. Here are some of the other benchmark scores. Both the phones have a 13 megapixel camera at the back and the Optimus G Pro has a 2.1 megapixel camera at the front. On the other hand, the Xperia Z has a 2.2 megapixel front snapper. 
Both the phones can record 1080p videos at 30 frames per second with stereo sound from both the cameras. The camera interface is different on both the phones with some skinning from the manufacturers. There are various shooting modes on both the phones like Panorama and HDR. In terms of image clarity, the Optimus G Pro was much better with lesser noise, more details, better contrast and truer colors. Let's take a look at some of the software features on the two phones. Both the phones run on Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean with a custom interface layer on top of it. LG packs its phones with Q apps that can be placed anywhere on the screen which is very similar to small apps on the Xperia Z. Only one small app can be run which is not the case with Q apps. There is no landscape mode in the Xperia Z while this is present in the G Pro. The Q button can be assigned to any app. The IR Blaster is present in the G Pro which is missing in the Xperia Z. Gaming on both the phones is quite good. The powerful processor makes the gaming experience very smooth without any lag. But the poor display on the Xperia Z and the bigger and better display on the G Pro makes it a winner here. The Optimus G Pro has a 3140mAh battery pack while the Xperia Z has a 2330mAh battery. In terms of battery life, the bigger battery in the Optimus G Pro is definitely better. Connectivity options on the phones includes Wi-Fi B, G and N, Bluetooth 4.0, 3G, AGPS, NFC, Wi-Fi Direct and DLNA. Wi-Fi AC band support is present only in the Optimus G Pro. The G Pro retails at Rs 36,000 while the Xperia Z is available for Rs 33,000. The Xperia Z offers a better design, premium build and dust water resistance while the extra 3,000 rupees fetches you a better display, camera, gaming performance and better battery life. If you enjoyed our video, please do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Phone Arena for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.